Hello. I'm getting you ready for the quiz that you're going to do now on all of the solar eclipse unit we did last week. Okay, this is for Monday the 28th. The A day kids will be doing this in class with me. The B day kids will be watching this video and doing it on ho at home on their own and turning it in the second they walk into class on Tuesday. Okay, the first thing I need you to do is prepare an answer sheet on a piece of notebook paper, number to 20. You don't need to skip lines, they're all short answers, like true false or something. Um, please make sure you get your name on there and your hour and choose A or B. Okay, remember, you can use your notes, you can use the internet. This is not cheating in this class. I force you to do it. I think the trick is when knowing whether or not you, an answer you find is right or not. All right. So, I'll get you set up with a little bit of weirdness. Here's Geek Chic. This is me wearing a shirt you've seen and a weird scarf. This is during a part, nice partial eclipse we had in Albert Lee. This is the Shopco parking lot. This was October 23rd, 2014, and I was wearing this scarf. I don't know if you can see what it is. Can you see what it is? It's eclipses. All right. Here we go. Enough geek chic. Now for the quiz. At the end of the week. All right, question number one. Remember, you can pause this, look for an answer. Don't be rushed. Quality over quantity here. Here we go. Number one, make sure you can see this. Which moon phase is required for a solar eclipse to happen? It's written in your notes about 12 times. I told you over and over and over again it was important. Okay. Which moon phase is required for a solar eclipse to happen? All right, question number two. True or false? All solar eclipses begin and end as partial eclipses. I'll rephrase that. So... Annular eclipses start and end as partial eclipses, and so total solar eclipses begin and end as partials. Okay, there's three types of eclipse. Do they all begin and end as partials? True or false? Number three, true or false. The only time it's safe to stare directly at a solar eclipse is during totality. The only time it's safe to look straight at it Point a telescope at it, whatever, is during totality, when the moon has it all covered, the whole photosphere. Okay, number four, true or false. Totality begins and ends with a diamond ring. We drew that in the last notes we did. Totality begins and ends with a diamond ring. Number five, true or false. I proposed to my wife during a diamond ring. Number six. Give me the year. That's all I have to get, do is the year. Give me the year of one of the total solar eclipses that I've seen. You've written them down, and if you are desperate or a bad note taker, or worst of all, you can't read your notes, look at the video of all the t-shirts. They have the dates on them. Number seven, okay, number seven, eight, and nine. These are, this is a list question. So you're gonna give me three answers. It doesn't matter the order. There's more than three possible right answers. Okay, seven, eight, nine, list three weird or cool things that happen during totality. Number 10, which shadow is darker? The umbra or the penumbra? Choose one, choose umbra or penumbra. Which one's darker? 
Number 11. I'm going fast. You don't have to go this fast. Number 11. Which direction does the moon orbit Earth as viewed from above? Clockwise or counterclockwise? Choose one. So you can write out clockwise CW or counterclockwise CCW. You can abbreviate if you'd like. Which way does the moon go around the Earth? This is important. Okay, that's where we're headed next week too. It's in your notes. Um, you can say it a couple different ways. Okay, number 12. Which moon phase is required for a solar eclipse to happen? This is a repeat question because it's so important. If you got number one right, you're going to get number 12 right because they're the same question. Which moon phase is required for a solar eclipse to happen? 13. All right. Which total solar eclipse contact, first contact, second contact, third contact, or fourth contact, had the most yelling? Choose one. Choose first or second or third or fourth. I'll give you a hint. My wife was right by the camera screaming, there it is, there it is, there it is, there it is. And then she screamed twice, then I screamed once, then, I, then she screamed again. She said, did you get it? It was at one of those, first, second, third, or fourth. Choose which one had the most yelling. And the rest of the people, 3,000 people on the ship were yelling too. Okay, 14. Tell me the year of the next total solar eclipse in the United States. It's the one I'm hoping you guys will go to. And it's not that far away. Okay. F 15. What causes the moon to be too small to completely cover the sun during an annular solar eclipse? What changed? Let me, let, let me explain the question. So during an annular, you've got this bright ring of sunlight all the way around the moon. The moon just didn't get the job done in covering up the sun. Why? You know it can do it during a total. What changed so that the sun was not all the way covered up during an annular. Okay, now, number 16, I have to go to a different sheet, so I'm gonna switch pages here. 16. True or false? There are multiple solar eclipses visible from Albert Lee during your lifetime, but they're all partials or annulars. Okay, true or false? There's more than one solar eclipse visible from Albert Lee in your lifetime, but they're all partials or annulars. Remember, an annular is like a special partial because it's got bright sunlight still not covered. 17. Why did the lady in the video scream, look at the shadow, here it comes? Why did she scream? 18. Name one form of radiation from the sun that can blind you. There are three. You just need to give me one of them. One type of radiation that can hurt your eyesight permanently. Obviously, I know how to do it right because I'm not blind and I've seen several eclipses. Okay, 19. What shape is the umbra? Remember, it's a shadow being cast by something. What shape is the shadow? What shape is the umbra? And number 20. Which moon phase is required for a solar eclipse to happen? This is the third time I've asked you that on this quiz, okay? I asked you on question number one and 12 and now number 20. Which moon phase is required for a solar eclipse to happen? This is the third time I've asked you. It's that important. All right. B-Day kids, hand this baby in as soon as you walk in on Tuesday. You can email me if you need me to rephrase a question or explain what I'm asking. That's not cheating. Okay? See ya.